good morning and welcome to wintery Winnipeg <laughs> yeah we knew it was gonna come well it came last night now the only thing good about the first snowfall is that usually not always but usually it melts the snow that stays all winter long does not contain the first snowfall <laughs> usually on the other hand I can remember Halloween's when the kids were trudging through snow uh, so uh, and I can remember Halloween's when it was uh, about plus 14 when I was sitting outside or with the door open you might say handing out candy so you, you just uh, you just never know right now it's minus one I, th I think that this snow that you're looking at on my car is probably going to melt. Uh, anyway, enough about the weather. A few minutes ago, I was thinking, I am now going to have to design a different coffee mug. Because if you remember, I had designed the Yamato mug in anticipation of the Yamato that I was sure I was going to get. Well, I do like that mug. I'm not sorry I, I designed it. It's not a dead loss. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I, I think I think I'll do that. I think I'll design a a submarine mug. You know, I'll, I'll come up with something. And uh, now, as far as the submarine goes, uh, I'll be doing I'll be doing the box opening. And as I mentioned, it'll probably go over several little segments. I'll probably work at it maybe five, ten minutes at a time. You know, I mean, the video will be five or ten minutes long. And uh, there's there's no rush on it because the, i got a lot of work to do here yet. Uh, now, I, I didn't do anything, by the way, last night. It seems to me that I kind of ended off you know, yesterday's episode saying we'll, we'll get, uh, get the ladders. And... Uh, I think I'm just going to continue on here this morning and do that. Uh, there's really not a whole lot different to do here on, on this turret than we have already videoed and shown. But the only thing is uh, that, that is majorly different is the uh, type of gun that's going to be going in, into the uh, gun tub here. We'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to quickly go ahead now and uh, uh, get those uh, other three ladders that we need that I thought I already had. Okay, we'll, we'll see you when I've done that. Okay, turret number three is almost finished. I got all the various little pieces on. Uh, there are a total of nine ladders. I've got eight of them on. Now there is one left here. And it has to go. Uh, I'm, I'm going to video this one because it's a little bit different. It's, it's got to go on both this part and this part. This is actually my first time putting it on. Now, if it if it doesn't go underneath this little lip here, then it's not going to glue on properly. Although maybe that is the way it is is supposed to go here. having trouble moving it down. It's kind of hooked onto something. Maybe if I use a use a brush it might work better. Where was it hooked onto? It must be hooked onto something down here. There we go. Oops. This is not working. I wonder if it should go the <clears throat> the other way up. If you notice that the rungs are placed differently. Let's see if I can maybe carefully turn it around here. Don't want to scratch it. 
I don't want to bend it either. Although, oh. I'm seeing photo etch on this side. It seems to me I had already concluded that this one had a little photo etch glinting right there, but it doesn't on this side, so let's... Okay, we were going to turn it this way, weren't we? All right. That kind of looks a little bit more believable. There's a rung down here that Barnacle Bill can grab hold of when he's standing on the deck. Okay, I'm going to uh, maybe put the macro lens on and we'll, uh, we'll do the flat clear thing and uh, then maybe we'll do the time lapse if it works out. We can watch it uh, evaporate. And then after that, uh, once again, as near as I can tell, the only thing left to go is, is this uh, 40 millimeter gun. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, recompose here. Now, if I accidentally move this thing, I should be able to slide it around before the uh, flat clear starts to harden. Mm, maybe that was just a little bit too much. Fortunately, it it dries almost invisible unless the light hits it right. You're not going to notice this. Okay, I'm looking straight on right now and it's as near as I can tell. I've basically got it uh, Okay, this should all dry and <clears throat> excuse me into a sort of a glue all right let's get the heat gun going here now I'll clean my uh, paintbrush later And noticing a bubble starting to form there, I think I think I'd better quit here. Maybe I got too much heat going on and it's starting to boil. I'm just going to take the uh, brush here and see if I can break those bubbles or am I going to make a smeary mess here. Okay, I may as well be honest with you. I had it I had it set for 160 degrees. That 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 was just a little bit too hot. When will I ever learn? I think I basically fixed the problem here. Um Yeah, I think that once that once this dries, I'm just gonna let this dry naturally now. We got probably ninety percent of it. Uh, shrunk. So, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, let's put the little gun in place. Okay. I've got a meatloaf in the oven. And I was thinking, when I was viewing yesterday's video, remember when I was struggling to get that big submarine box into the car? Why did I not just open the hatch in the back, slide it in, and slam the hatch shut? It would have been so much easier. 
Okay, I think we're ready to go here. Very, very carefully here that I don't bend the railing. And uh, let's recompose a little bit. Okay, we're just going to do a dry run here. There's so many places I can't grab this. I think I can grab it there. Problem is, when I'm holding it with the tweezers, I can't really get the feel of it. There. I, I do believe it's in. Maybe if I can support it just a little bit here. Hold against myself. I'm trying, try not to get my my fingers in your vision here. Maybe I should swing this around like this. And then I can hold it from the sides. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to go okay. I think once I get... Once again, if I just put some extra thin on that hole... Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Trying to brace this thing so it doesn't move. I think I basically got it now. Okay. Now, does that look straight? Um, it's, it's aiming maybe it's just a little bit more to the right here. All right, that's going to have to do. Okay, turret number three is done. All right, let me uh, clean up a little bit here. I got stuff all over the place. Yeah, I was wondering, why was it that I never thought to put that in from the back? And then I realized, well, it's because at home I can't get the hatch open. And in my mind I thought, I can't get the hatch open. You remember, I was so excited I couldn't even find my car keys. Couldn't remember what pocket I put them in. <laughs> yeah, like a little kid at Christmas time there. Anyway, we are done. Step 55. Okay, I was about to say 56, the last step, but it's not. 57 is actually the last step. Um, have, have I missed a bunch of railing here? Let me just check that out. Now, while I'm digging out my photo etched sheets here, just a quick update about the sunrise. There was no sunrise, just in case you're wondering. Okay, at the end of the last scene, just before I pushed stop, I heard Missy at the door. And I guess I was thinking about that, so if I didn't make a whole lot of sense, well, sorry about that. Now, here's my dilemma. I know that this, this railing here is to go all around the outside of the gunnel, okay? I think there is just enough. It seems to be I, I measured it, and there was just going to be enough. I know that, where's the, my pointer here, okay, I got this piece here, uh, B12, 
Well, that's that's this piece here. But then I've got other railing here still on the fret. Like there's there's this one, and then there's another fret just like it. Then there's this long piece here. Um, and another. Oh yeah, here here's just, here's the other. All right, now here we, we did use. Okay, this fret is, is these two are the same fret. It's just that one's flipped over, I guess. And um, okay, so we did use one of these, but we didn't use the other one. Then there is a slew of ladders all over the place. There's one here. There's uh, uh, two, three, four, five. Uh, I think there's uh, another fret that's got some ladders on it, but I'm not sure. Uh, so I'm, I'm wondering if maybe I have missed some stuff. Anyway, I'm, I did I did page back, and I couldn't see anything. And when I was actually going through everything step by step, I was being very careful not to miss anything. Uh, I know there are parts that I've saved, that, you know, that are in test tubes and stuff like that. But I, I know about that. It's just this stuff that I don't know about that. Unless, unless like I say, it's maybe for the Missouri, not for the Iowa. Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> it wants us to be dropping guns down right now. I don't want to do that until the very end. Uh, and also these, these uh, ladders on the side. Uh, I, I don't want to put them on now, but I think we can probably drag our model back over here onto the table and because uh, we're going to need it if we're going to be putting any of this stuff on. Uh, is there anything else I could do right now before I do that? I, I can't think of anything, but uh, maybe I'm thinking about my submarine and I'm... <laughs> Yeah, I can't think about two models at the same time. That reminds me. I was watching uh, Nigel Frampton. Uh, he was doing a uh, a live show, and I caught I caught just a, a little bit of it. And uh, sorry, Nigel, I couldn't catch the whole thing. It was just too long. <laughs> I can't. I I just can't uh, concentrate that long. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Nigel was mentioning about how he can't understand how people can stay at just one model until it's finished and then go on to another one and not be doing, you know, two or three at the same time. At least I think that's what he was talking about. Well, I'm one of those guys. I, I'm a I'm a one model guy. Uh, <laughs> in fact, I had no stash up until yesterday. So uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, you got a you got a great show there, Nigel. You're a real talented guy, and I watch you a lot. Uh, and thanks for sharing with us. Okay, now. Uh, yeah, I, I, let's get the model on the table here and, and uh, get get our B12. What time we got here? Uh, you can't see the clock. You know what? It is 1.27 in the afternoon. I'm wondering if maybe I should cut her short here. I'm just going to think about this for a minute. Okay, here's what's happened. Uh, just uh, moments ago, I saw the letter carrier come to the door. I went and got my mail, opened it up, and I've got my new official driver's license. And it, it says I have class five, that's for the car, and I've got class six, that's for the motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, so now I can, uh, I, I know now for sure I'm going to get it. I was kind of wondering when I, when they just gave me that little temporary thing, you know, that little piece of paper that said basically the same thing. And I thought, am I, am I going to get the real thing? Well, the real thing just came. I'm going to celebrate. I'm going to have an extra large piece of meatloaf. <laughs> I'm going to call it quits for today as well. So thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we're going to see you tomorrow. <laughs>